So we're starting in five, four, three, two, and one. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the Smoke and Rearview Mirrors podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Cars. And I'm the other host, Van. And today we have a guest, our first guest, actually. He <laughs> this is a milestone. Is Yeah, he is a streamer. A uh, aspiring video game journalist and a professional role player, whatever that makes you think of. <laughs> <laughs> we have here Mr. Iggy Bonhock. Hello, everyone. Nice. Thanks to for meet. having me. Yeah, nice. and it's Bye. our first time to meet him as well. I mean, me at least. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Not me. <laughs> yeah. So just to get, uh, at least I'll just give you guys a a quick uh, another intro. Uh, he's basically Van's neighbor. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> that's why we got connections to him. In front of the house. <laughs> oh, in front. Uh, and in, right I in front. Know. Right in front. Oh. No, not even uh, a sideways kind of situation. It's uh, face front. In in Japanese, because I know I just know. Do you know my neighbor Totoro? Mm, I've anime, heard about. Yeah. It. yeah. In the anime, the Japanese title is uh, Tonari no Totoro, mm-hmm. and Tonari means. Not neighbor, but it means beside you. So I don't know if we can. It's the same in Japanese. You say a a, a neighbor across. You. Miyazaki film, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So from yeah, yeah, yeah. words, we're not each, we're not exactly each other's Totoro because that's <laughs> beside. Well, right now you are. You guys. Yeah, are. yeah. Right now we're each other's Totoro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're right beside each other. <laughs> well, so anyway. Um, well, why don't you tell us uh, something about yourself, Iggy? Uh, you know, especially me. I don't, again, I don't know much about you. And I'm interested to know more about you. <laughs> mm, um, so, yeah, uh, for the 20 plus years, I've been living in front of this man's house. I have been... Uh... <laughs> it sounds weird, I know. But... <laughs> no, you, you make it sound like you've done it on purpose. From no, birth. I, I like, guarantee you it's you were, not. It's not <laughs> you, were, you were born... Oh, wait. How old are you, by the way? Is it okay to ask? Uh, 26. Oh, so you're same age. Yeah, we're the same age. I'm 25. You're more turning or less, 26. More or less. No, <laughs> are you turning 26 this year or? No, I just turned 26. Oh, so this year. More or less. Yeah. So the same year, same year, 1994, because I'm uh, one year older. But I just wanted to ask that to make the joke that you really were born ahead of him, knowing that he was going to be born and you know going to be <laughs> across your house. It's coincidental. <laughs> That's what he makes you think. That's the professional role player in him. <laughs> yes. Now that's the joke I want to make every time you say something clever. It's just professional it's role player. It's part of the app. It's part of the app. <laughs> okay, anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. So, yeah, um, I've been in front of this man's house for this for a long time. Sorry, I'm, it's, it's okay. kind of new to me. Uh, I've always been passionate about gamings and uh, gaming and role playing. Movies like Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, okay. and whatever fantasy movie you know. So more into the medieval shit, none of the yeah western fantasy. Like, the, more on fantasy, more, not, none of the space shit. When you when you say fantasy, is it automatically assumed that it's western? I'm just I'm just you know mm, wanting to. No, you know. there's some Asian influence when you say fantasy. You can uh, like yeah yeah nine tales and shit. General like. general meaning, but like when you were saying it, did you just you meant everything as well, or just? yes, everything. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, but, I love all but, of that. I, I get what you're co- where you're coming from because uh, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, yeah. those are all just based on the examples. The uh, creatures right in there, mm-hmm. uh, centaurs and well, Lord of the Rings is literally made by yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's not <laughs> I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you, you you went into like. What it what was do you remember what your first like uh you know fantasy thing was or what the that sounds weird fantasy inspiration <laughs> was <laughs> I've got to say it's Lord of the Rings to be honest oh. ever since I, my parents showed me that movie I've been so intrigued Ooh. especially on the <laughs> elves part since the babes were so you know <laughs> oh. they, <laughs> they stay young forever so imagine that <laughs> Oh man I remember an anime because of that <laughs> <laughs> do you know do you know interspecies reviewers no i don't <laughs> it's, it's a it, i think it was last t- let me just segue with this okay mm-hmm. it was an anime 
And I don't really want to recommend this because it's really weird. Well, <laughs> it's, you can recommend it for people who are looking to have a pre... Uh, <clears throat> to each their own. To yeah. each their own. Anyway, it's an anime. It was last season, I think. Mm-hmm. And it was about... Uh, it was about guys reviewing yeah, a couple, a couple of lads. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it was like... They go into these brothels, yeah, basically. He's, he's not going to let me speak. That's the reason why. <laughs> Basically, yeah, he, they're 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 like a human, an elf guy, and different species, and then they also try different uh, species of like you know again uh, women, yeah, and then they give their reviews. So that's why it's called interspecies reviews. And I just remembered because you said with the elves, there the, there's a uh, one guy there among the the main characters. Uh, he's an elf, and then he, he's disgusted by the other uh, like uh, life forms, I guess, or the species that well, stereotypical lo- elf. Yeah, no, not. Not I don't know if it's for the same reason, but he's disgusted because of the way that they like elves. Because like uh like one of the top uh, girls I guess uh, mm-hmm. that they were uh, they were viewing is an elf girl, yeah. So uh he doesn't like her because she's technically a thousand years old or something. But then what this elf guy really likes is this uh like sixty year old <laughs> human. Which is really, you know, <laughs> visually a different looking uh, type mm-hmm. of person. <laughs> so I, I just remember because of that. So again, if you were, if this got you curious. No, it's not, <laughs> not because of that. <laughs> it's okay. I know, I, I know that's not what people usually think of when they think of elf. Like, oh, wow, a thousand years old. I wonder that's what one she's one of thinking. the reasons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, so with uh, Lord of the Rings and, you know, the elves, uh, like how mm-hmm. how was the progression? So was it Lord of the Rings and then Harry Potter? Because oh yeah, and also I wanted to ask. Sorry, I'm thinking about a lot of things. How old were you when you first watched Lord of the Rings? Because it's it's quite of like a you know uh, kind of like a deep movie that mm-hmm. maybe not a lot of kids would have their attention uh, on for like the whole. Uh, how is how's, how long is like the first movie? Like two two, two hours? hours, then yeah. three hours for the uncut version. Ah uh, yeah, see, so like, do you remember? When you watched it, I'd first? say, or when you first at least really appreciated it, when I was at least ten, on my teens for sure, early ten, teens, ten early teens. teens. <laughs> yes, <laughs> my God, it's okay. <laughs> I know I'm just corny. Anyway, uh, so well, that was the first time. Like, you, you, do you remember like the first time you watched it? Yeah, you already, I do. it already got you. Like, oh, wow, this is uh, something. This, this mash it. Ever since I've I saw. Legolas, one of the elves the there, elves, yeah. do do his moves. So uh, intrigued. Yeah, yeah, I, I get that. He's, he is uh, the effeminate Chad. So I it's guess. safe to assume that whenever you're playing D and D, you're uh, more of the rogue type, kind of bow and arrow kind of guy. Um, there's a pattern when I played. I've played six campaigns of D and D right already. Oh, okay. and five of those I've played. A high elf ranger, an elf ranger, a half elf See, ranger. See, there's a pattern. There's a <laughs> it's always a ranger. <laughs> and always some form of elf? Or yes, you, yes. You have I haven't tried, tried any. <laughs> well, there was once, but uh, we don't count that. <laughs> the campaign was canceled. So. Uh, it, because you weren't an elf. Maybe, You're maybe. Like, <laughs> the, 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 I didn't it's get his into, destiny. I didn't yeah. get into character. <laughs> Like you're not. Wh- why are you acting like a human? I mean, why are you acting like an elf when you're what? What were you? What were you? Do you remember what you were? High elf. No, no. I, I was a uh, thiefling. Oh, so you are, why are you demons. acting like an elf when you're a thiefling? Yeah, I, could, I couldn't do my broken English accent. Ooh, I don't know. Uh, can you can you can you try that now? I'm 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 suddenly. That's, that's interested. why it's broken. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> can't do that. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's. You know, I I really want to try playing D and D like in in person because we again we've to, we told you before. That, well, you know we haven't finished yeah. our the one campaign we've yeah. started. So, but it yeah. was also on all of it was online, so it was kind of different from you know I guess from what you've experienced. Well, I'm speaking only for myself, but I can definitely uh, play my character IRL. Well, Van, you've been your house is fairly close to mine. Did, didn't you see us playing outside? Oh, no, I never, outside? I never, uh, before the quarantine, before all of this happened, we used to play tabletop back in our garage. Ooh. You should see it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he it, can see it. He should be able to yeah, see his, it. Yeah, his computer is literally you know, uh, of the uh, window. Sin- since, you know, uh, we, we're friends again, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll been, definitely it, it has, join it in the future. Been, it has been a while. I, I'll definitely join. <laughs> you can count on that. It's been how many years since we last so talked? I ch- uh, talked. Uh, <laughs> 
We've Let's talked see. casually when we cross each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it, whenever we cross, uh, come across each other on the street, uh, we always give this uh, manly nod. You know, it gets uh, real awkward. Uh, and, a, and an acknowledgement of each other's existence, but in a manly way, like, hey, yeah, hey, what's up? What's hey, so, so, hmm. guys, <laughs> school, yeah. So, so you know, uh, maybe you haven't really uh, interacted with this uh, mm. geeky side of me. Because yeah, is a, all, you, all you're seeing is the intimidating manly man just nodding across the street in a manly manner. This is definitely uh, an and experience I, so far. <laughs> now, now you see that he's not as manly as you think. <laughs> <laughs> all those times he was nodding at you, he was actually winking at you. <laughs> Want to play some games? <laughs> hey, bro. Want to play some games? Please invite me. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well uh, actually, I think you got a hint when, uh, I think a few months ago, I invited you to come play Destiny with you me. You did, you oh, did. Is he outing you that right now that y- you rejected his invite? No, <laughs> it, was a, it was a weird timing because we j- I just finished playing Destiny. I got so burned out uh, in that game. I, uh, I, I don't blame playing. you, I got burned out too. Yeah, I, you, you guys, you guys played the g- same game at the wrong times, mm. different times. I see, I see. And now it's always the wrong time because fuck that game. <laughs> <laughs> weren't, you you know? t- weren't you asking me like the other week to play it with you? <laughs> I'm a very fickle man, <laughs> a very fickle manly man. How long does it take you to get burned out in the game? It's not a length. It's just that I've had it's enough. The girth. Is it because of the it's, game? It's play? when I see the yeah, pattern that e- every week. Uh, they incentivize you to play and play so you don't miss out on these rewards and not mm. rewarding, you know, actual skill, actual improvements in skill. Mm. It, it, yeah, that's the that's the part where you get burned out because... The repetitive gameplay. Yeah, the repetitive... And the shittiness of uh, the reward system. Mm-hmm. Because uh, I have you played competitive Destiny? Yes, I've tried once. Uh, don't, you, don't you... Don't uh, you... How should I say this? Don't you observe that whenever you're playing really good, your next game, for some reason, it's always uh, shittier teammates. True. That's because, true. I, I, you know, I uh, yeah, just to uh, further my point, before, uh, uh, be- before this episode, I was actually watching some of your streams. Ooh, and yeah. I, I've got to say, uh, you, you click heads better than me. <laughs> so, so, yeah, you're, uh, you're a gamer. That, that's for sure. It's very rare for Ivan to admit that someone is better than him at games. Really? Because mm, he's that cocky. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, <laughs> not that, cocky, he but... Just, he just knows that he's good. Yeah, and, uh, I'm usually play, you know, the, all, all of the Souls games. So I'm oh. a bit of a gamer too. But okay. from, from uh, the moments that I've watched you, I can definitely say that, you know, yeah... I'm not gonna. I don't want to come across this guy on the ladder <laughs> on whatever game I'm playing. Ooh, now that's a statement to make. What do you do? You agree with that? Do you think that you're a decently good player? Mm, in terms of FPS, I'd say I'm fairly decent, maybe mm. above average. That's why. That's why I said he's be, he's a better head clicker. Mm, yeah. Than mm. me. And I'm just because I can, <laughs> I can see the precision. I can see the precision of the aiming. When I was watching you, I was visualizing where I would aim. Should I have been in the same spot, same mm-hmm. situation? And I, uh, I thought to myself, man. So this is how uh, good players play. Oh, thanks. oh I don't Thank even. You. I don't even need to. Watch I'm not you. sucking your cock right now. I'm just. Yeah, uh, gonna do it later. I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, speaking objectively. <laughs> Now, in the break, in the break. Yeah, even me when I, I I don't even have to watch that. I already know where I, I usually point, and it's usually like at the chest, <laughs> and I don't know mm. why. But I uh, just to give you a background, like the only FPS I've played in the recent times is uh, Valorant. Oh, you play that? The recent, um, like, not somewhat. Mm, yeah, yeah somewhat. I do, I do, I do. What, what? Not that much. Not that much. Why? Why so? Because. This is, it's a controversial, ma- okay. controversial matter, okay. right? We, we give hot Valorant, takes here. Con- Counter-Strike. I'm more of the Counter-Strike side of players. Okay, okay. I mean, I've seen I've seen a lot of like YouTube videos that, that title like, oh, Counter-Strike player Versus with... Valorant. Or like, yeah, yeah, just say like, Counter-Strike player with uh, 100 something... Plays Valorant. Yeah, yeah. plays Valorant, Valorant and then, I don't know. And I've also seen like videos because, you know, as a noob that I am, I, I usually watch guide videos on how to play mm-hmm. like a game like Valorant. And then they do say like, uh, they, sometimes they give, uh, you know, advice on 
things that you can do in Valorant that maybe you can't do in Counter Strike or the other mm, way definitely. around. Definitely, there's yeah. Valorant does have its perks and yeah. differences. It's it's like makes a, it unique. It's, it's of unique, course, or, sure. or else what's the point of having another mm, game? It's not really a copy paste that game. Mm, it just kind of is. <laughs> <laughs> the core. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, what can, what else can you do if you make a, an FPS game of that's course, of course. team based and like that? You know, you can't you can't really go far from the formula itself. Mm-hmm. I, I, I get what you mean there. And uh, where we where did we leave off before we started off that long tangent? I think it was either at the fantasy or do you want to talk more about the uh, your experience with D and D? Because I'm also curious about that. What do you want to know? What do you want to know? Like, I guess just like uh, with fantasy earlier. Like, when did you start? Because you said you only played six campaigns, and that's that. Six campaigns is a yeah. That, that's very very different for every for different people. Like that could be six years, that could be ten years, or mm-hmm. you know how 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 when did you start and how how did you start? We started, I'd say, twenty sixteen. Well, one day uh, I was watching. Mm-hmm. If you guys know the community. The show? So, see, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I recommend oh, it to him. There was this episode where they played D&D, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that intrigued me so much that oh. I searched The one that out. got deleted from Netflix. Yeah, because yeah. of did? the blackface. I didn't know. Because of... Because uh, of... Uh, the drow. Yeah, the, the, the dr- blackface <laughs> of... Uh, what's his name? Kim Jong. Ken Jong. Yeah, Kim yeah. Jong. Yeah. So, that intrigued me so much that I searched it on YouTube. Then I found out about Critical Role. And then they were featuring Vin Diesel playing D&D for, for some buff guy to be playing a tabletop game it's, it's so unique right and for for Vin Diesel to have any other character rather than himself mm. and he's actually <laughs> passionate about the game if you watch that episode I don't, no I'm, I haven't seen that I want to see it because again when I whenever I see Vin Diesel in the movie it feels like he's what, playing what, the same what was character. his character he was uh, a I'd like to see him as someone who's not like a, a manly man because that's what he always does in movies <laughs> oh he was a manly man here. But, <laughs> but, but he was a witch hunter a witch hunter yeah Oh. And he was doing all these voice actor, uh, voice. He was doing. He was role playing, like seriously mm. role playing. He was doing we cool. Should burn voices. the witches, la familia. <laughs> yeah, just deep One mile at a time. <laughs> <laughs> you know how Vin Diesel does his voice. Where's my Corona? <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. You can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, magic. Here's your Corona. corona. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, I'm, I'm. Uh, what is what? What's his name? Din Vizel. Din, Din Diesel. Din v- My character's name is Din Vizel. Din Vizel. It's, it's, it's not Vin Diesel, you know. Do you drive a Mustang? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so you, you you got into that from there, but like you know, you're of course you have you know friends that you play with. Like, how did you find them, or did you convince oh. other people to play with you, or what? So our first campaign was me. It consisted of me, my cousin, my brother, and a few of my best friends. So it came about, I asked, hey, I, I really want to try this d and mm. I told my cousin. Mm. Sure, let's try that. It seems that it <laughs> so happens. <laughs> it so happens that everybody wanted to play D&D secretly. Uh, and my yeah, cousin yeah. was super passionate about being the dungeon master at the time. And did he already have, exp- he, did he have experience? No, it was, oh, everyone was the new. first campaign was our first trial. Everyone's, everyone's first, time. first experience. Wow. Yeah. And you already wanted to be a dungeon master. I even named my first character... Iggy. <laughs> I named him after myself. That's oh, how same I with me. This cap, and, yeah. First character, Cars. Yeah. Really? I just, made, I just use my name for everything right now. Even and you if, got into it. Cause it cause, it's just me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think everyone, uh, uh, the others that kind of didn't like it. That I, that I wasn't <laughs> really? as, because really? I wasn't as creative as the others. So I was being, uh, you know, judged, I guess, that I didn't want to put in the effort. But then that was the, all the effort I could put in. Well, it was your <laughs> but, first yeah. game. So. Yeah. So yeah, so how how did it go like with your with your first campaign? It took us two years to finish it. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh! Did, Every did, did, did play you, oh. you guys played uh, the, what do you call that? Like the, the the actual stories that they have in. in no, 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 we played our own story. Oh, you so made that's how passionate my cousin dungeon. was. Wow, the dungeon master. Yeah, he, my the dungeon master was. He created his own story. We he told us to create our own story, so we got into that as well. And after. We played for two years. We played one day a week. Sometimes we would play two days oh. for eight hours. Eight hours per day. That's like work, man. <laughs> so, so you tell me that you play with your cousins, uh, your uh, one cousin, best friend. But, mm-hmm. uh, what I'm getting from you here is, uh, I I should not expect any stories from you about uh, uh, annoying players. 
basically. Because uh, these are people you, uh, well, we've had I assume s- you like. There were some conflicts. I'm not gonna lie about that. But I think we can leave that underground <laughs> or something. That's yeah, okay. We can we can uh, continue with the... Mm. How about the, the second campaign? Or at least... what the, uh, Instead of going on with every each and every campaign, <laughs> which might go a bit long, can you uh, share with us like what's the best that you... Uh, campaign at least that you've had? Or, or just share the best D&D moment in, in a, one of those yeah. campaigns. Hmm... I'd say the best campaign was definitely the first campaign since okay. I really got into it. I was my and, and I was what was the best moment? moment? The best moment. See, my character was named Iggy. Yeah. I looked, I literally looked like Legolas. I thought everyone, if you guys know Legolas, that's how I look like. And there was this one time that I burned my hair. That's what I really liked about Legolas. I always boasted about, hey guys, here's my ah, hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one time, this, <laughs> this freaking guard. <laughs> I'll never forget the day. <laughs> Here's my he burned hair. my freaking hair, and I was a bald. <laughs> a What's bald. his name? What's the actor's name? Um, no, Orlando Bloom. Orlando Bloom. I was a bald Orlando Bloom. Uh, you went from Orlando Bloom to Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. <laughs> Damn. Vin Diesel is bald. Because <laughs> that was after you got all of the, the you know, the, the 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 status upgrades. You you got more strength and all that. So milestones. Yeah, yeah eventually yeah, I got all the dragon balls. Eventually, when you when you got bald, you turned buff as well, and then you turned into Vin Diesel. <laughs> or maybe the rock. When you're so bald, you get cool. to be Vin Diesel. And the Mustang appeared out of thin air. Muscle car. Yeah. Super <laughs> muscle car appeared. <laughs> out of out of the hair that burned, a muscle car just. just Appeared. That's what would happen right now if we if we made a campaign. <laughs> Just everything has to do with Vin Diesel. <laughs> Damn. What? What? A- and why don't you have a muscle car van? Oh, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it, you know, uh, I I may not look at it like it, but I'm a bad driver. Uh, I've totaled uh, our car like uh, three times. But that's uh, what Vin Diesel does. He totals cars. Yeah. And, oh, well, maybe I'm not that. He- a bad of a driver. Even, Maybe I'm just a differently abled driver. He even learned when he was fighting against uh, Jason Statham. He put <laughs> he put like uh, what do you call it? Oh no, it was Jason Statham who did that with the uh, reinforcements in the car, so that when they when they collided with each other, Vin Diesel, the honorable man, yeah, <laughs> saying fucking so. lost. <laughs> of that. And you know why I crash these cars? Because you know, I I I have an alpha mindset. Uh, I'm yeah, I admit I have an alpha mindset. So so. <laughs> So when I make a turn, what a surprise! It's I think turn. to myself, I can make this turn. <laughs> it's just so happened that I made that turn into an LBC truck. <laughs> oh. Three times, the Three same, times? The same truck. He's <laughs> 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 like, not this time. I'm not gonna. I'm not, let let I'm me not back gonna... up for a bit. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he did. That was the part of the story he missed. That was all of those three total times that he crashed the car. <laughs> Was in one one moment. <laughs> one moment. <laughs> one. He went back. I can make this for sure this time. No, I think I think it was more like he crashed into the LBC truck and then he went reverse and then he crashed into it again, <laughs> just so that you know even the backside would get <laughs> would get crushed. You know what's interesting? Uh, the the LBC truck didn't even have any dents, any damage, just just a bit of chip paint. Ooh. But the SUV I, I was driving, it totally flat. How fast were you going, how fast, man? Yeah, how fast were you going? <laughs> the <then? question. laughs> not that fast. Just, just a turn. Not a fast and a furious kind of turn. Just, just a turn. Mm, you weren't chanting your inner or, or Vin maybe, Diesel. Then. Or maybe my inner alpha makes normal turns <laughs> into a Vin Diesel turn, you know? But then, uh, that's but, a but then the LBC driver was more alpha <laughs> and he turns... He, well, nothing's more alpha than He was more Vin truck. Diesel. He, was yeah. more. <laughs> he, turns into, he, he turns flattened cars into just a, uh, a chip of, his, of the paint of his <laughs> truck. Man, that's crazy. How how the hell was, was he get? Well, I guess those delivery trucks are built to withstand alpha males. Alpha, alpha, males. alpha yeah. damage. Damn. <laughs> they 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 show you who's boss. Mm. Mm. They're the kings of the road. <laughs> how about you? Do you do you drive? No. Oh okay. Well, I mean, I also don't like to drive, but right now I've I've been driving recently. Mm. Uh, but really, again, it's not. Out, it's just out of necessity because everything's so expensive these days. To you know, just. Go and you ride a taxi. It's also not that safe, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, I just 
especially with my name, people think, oh yeah, he must like cars. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> I, it's just from my last name, Karandang. So I'm not really. Oh, it's just a nickname. Yeah, it's just a nickname. It's not like him. What did you assume his real name was? No, Car- he just said. He just said. It's a, he said it's a nickname. So he thought it wasn't a nickname, which means that he thought that my name was Cars. Like just Cars. Yeah, because if it was something else, then cars would be a nickname. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was thinking. When you guys met, I was thinking also, to myself, like, uh, "This guy's named Vans, yeah. Van, and this guy's named Cars." Yeah, that's why oh. we. That's oh yeah, that's why if we if we don't know yet, that's the reason why our podcast is named uh, "Smoke and Rearview Mirrors" because we smoke, and then our names have uh, rearview mirrors. Oh, in them. boom! I, I, I get it. I get it. Alpha mind. Blow, <laughs> mind blown. And at the risk of having a very long That's podcast thinking. name, we just wanted to have the the, the wittiness with yeah, the name as well. It, just get real with. Oh yeah, but, but by the way, as well, you know, since you're, I think uh, we 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 talked about you know your your fantasy. Oh, that no, sounds so no. weird. <laughs> your fantasy background, D and D background. Uh, since I already said it in the intro, like you're also a streamer, right? Mm, like, an aspiring uh, streamer. Aspiring streamer. Yeah. Like how how long have you done it? I guess that's what we always start with. How long have you been streaming? I I started just last month, two months ago. Actually. Oh, two <laughs> months ago. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's, that's a <laughs> that's a that's a that. But then how how has it been yeah, uh, since you started? Mm. It's and, been... and also, do you have a witty name with your with your? <laughs> no, with it's an it's a it's a name I came up with growing up. It's oh. Shamblo. If you Google it, there's literally no meaning it has no meaning whatsoever that if you google shamblora you'll see my twitch uh, <laughs> that's oh, how unique that's how unique that's it really is really fucking smart yeah yeah <laughs> that's cool i mean how, but when you when you you said you came up with it when you were a kid like how hmm. how did you come up with it just i just said shamblora was, i was more of the funny kid back then so i came up with i was crazy <laughs> i'd say i'd say So I just came up with the word shamblo. I don't know. I actually don't know. You don't. You don't there's there, there's no. Uh, there's no meaning backstory. behind it. I don't remember the Man. backstory behind it. <laughs> Maybe it just just came out of my mouth. Shamblo. That makes me think like those uh, Shiogorath, those stuff like that. You know that old gods. Yeah, old Cthulhu. gods. Old gods. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. like Cthulhu shit. Are you also like into those stuff? Like since it's is it, is it fantasy as well? Uh, some of some of the D and D ish games feature uh, Cthulhu, mm, like de- Call of Cthulhu, right? Mm, it depends on your. I'm guessing from the name Dungeon of- Master, yeah. And and even D and D warlocks, from what I've read, uh, summon Cthulhu shit. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, there's the Eldritch you, Blast as well. I forgot. Yeah, you about can that. have you can worship a god or whatever demon. Mm. But I mean, I, I I guess what I was asking is like, uh, aside from like you know what what. People would know playing D and D and playing those uh, campaigns. Like, do you also dabble into like researching about uh, Cthulhu stuff as well? Like, is it part of like fantasy for you when you were interested in mm. fantasy? Or uh, well, yeah, when you started getting interested in fantasy? When I started getting into fantasy, it's more like I always imagined how my life would be if I were that character. So mm. everything I know is very limited to. How I lived in, how I imagined. Mm. So it's more of a uh, it's idols like like uh, role models, I guess. No, more no? like stereotypical. If elves like three gods, mm. then I would only you know know those gods. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I, 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 I get what you mean, and especially. In, in, I won't dabble into the unknowns. Into the unknown. You're not. You're not. You're not. Uh... You're not <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like it's over in van. Like on the run nigga. Into the unknown. I don't want to be frozen too. I don't get. Ah, into the unknown. Into yeah. the unknown. Yeah. Means lang naman eh. Oh, sorry, English pala tayo. Go lang, go lang. Uh, sige, means lang naman si Van hindi nagegets yung sinasabi natin. So, eh uh, tinuturuan ko na lang din siya. <laughs> I was focusing on my strawberry yogurt yeah. uh, drink. You're so focused that you were Doing it on the table, <laughs> making yeah. the sound everywhere, man. That's okay, but yeah. <clears throat> Where else do we go with this, man? Uh, oh, one thing I also wanted to know. Uh, you said also again going with the intros that we gave. Like you are aspiring aspiring video game journalist. Mm-hmm. Like, have you done anything yet for that? Like, yeah. Um. If you guys know Kotaku, I know not, not, Kotaku. not everyone likes Kotaku. It's very controversial. 
controversial. Sorry. I'm a basic guy, uh, so I'm not. I I'm know good. a bit, so, but I'll just let him speak. Yeah. Go so ahead. I've done some. I've I've written an article in for Kotaku. I've written I've written about Dawn of War 2, If you guys know that game, I've heard of it. As it when it released, I wrote a ga- I wrote an article about it. I basically reviewed it. Did you get a review copy? No, no, no. I just posted oh. it on their website and I had like 300, 400 people uh, that's, saw it. That's they read it. Good. Yeah. I mean, is that already... I don't that's know that's with Kotaku status, uh, statistics, but is that, is that like a good number? I'm not sure. Because for me, I think I think it's a good number, especially if we, if we get at least 300 viewers for the podcast. <laughs> like <laughs> right now, we don't even get 100 for anything. <laughs> that's okay. We're just uh, starting out. We're just yeah, starting. it's okay with. And maybe sometime in the future when a, uh, human race is extinct and aliens come here, you know, you'll see can, a bit of a chronicling of the human condition with our podcast, records <laughs> of our podcast. Yeah, if YouTube's still online. <laughs> they can use us for data. <laughs> yeah, but like, uh, what the fuck we were saying again? Uh, no, with, with Kotaku and with Kotaku, because... I remember suddenly that uh, I I did have a friend back in high school. Like he was mm-hmm. also like a video game reviewer. Mm-hmm. But the cool thing, I don't know how he did it, but he he got like uh, review copies of games like for the oh. PS3 before. So like I don't know how do you do you know how you can do that? Like you can uh, share with us. <laughs> actually, that's my only experience as a reviewer, oh. as a video game journalist. How long How long ago did you do that? That was back in twenty seventeen. Oh wow, a long time ago. It's been a while, yeah. I should have known if I knew when Dawn of War two came out. <laughs> yeah, I was so sorry, but uh, you, know. you know, you know, with this topic, uh, I ha- I have to give hot takes. I just have go, to. Go. So 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 I know why Kotaku isn't really like it's because of all these. Uh, aside from the politically correct stuff and all that anti SJW yes. shit, yes. Mm-hmm. I also know that the their reviewers, while they review games, they're not much of a gamer uh, compared to you and I. So so. So, uh, so that's why you you didn't continue reviewing for them no, because you were too overqualified. Like 2017 was a wild time. I just oh. started my journalism major. Ah, uh, okay. So, so I, I've, major. I've gotten bu- I've gotten busy. Uh, okay, so right now, you, even if you didn't make any more uh, video game re- uh, you know reviews, you'd probably be better at it since mm, you, of course, you know, you've of course. done a lot of, re- of research already. It's just that you know. Laziness. <laughs> <laughs> or streaming. You already, one, you already have the streaming. Yeah, that. yeah. Streaming. You know, when we get you back here, we'll, we'll be talking about Dr. K in the future and maybe we can discuss about laziness. But right now, I have to say this. You know, uh, these game journalists, mm-hmm. the one, the one, the hot, well, n- not much of a hot take, but the one uh, topic I wanted to talk about was this one particular uh, reviewer. Not necessarily Kotaku, I don't even remember. Mm-hmm. But there was this one fucking video game journalist where he was reviewing Cuphead. Ah, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, <laughs> and he wasn't even able to, you know, jump and dash <laughs> over the <laughs> tutorial part. And because of that, and he that, said the game sucked. Yeah, what? yeah, that tilted <laughs> me. That tilted that. me to no end because I really, really like Cuphead. I respect that game. <laughs> it's a good game. So he God just, damn it. just because he didn't know... How to play the game? He was too much of a noob to even get past the tutorial, so he gave it a bad review. Yeah, that's the bad thing with reviews sometimes. And, and right now, should we ga- get more uh, journalists like you? Uh, it will yeah. have a better future, I'm thinking. Journalists should be passionate about what they do, what they do, and what. And, what and from what I watch, you can definitely de- do a jump dash. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, for sure. Better than that guy. A jump dash and a little bit more. <laughs> Man, but like, how about now? Like, uh, with, with what you've been playing recently, if you were to make a video game review, what do you think would you want to make a review on? Mm. Just just hypothetically. For the sake of nostalgia, I'd want to do a... Yeah, Resident, yeah even, even an old game, that's great. The Resident Evil remake. That's a mm. good game too. Oh, we, 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 I had a hot take on that last episode. What? Okay, so so it's okay. We'll still be friends even if we uh, potentially fight well, over say, opinions on Resident Evil. He didn't even say what his opinions were already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm sensing, I'm sensing future. Uh, Just so you know, I'm tense moments. I'm not good with spooky games. Oh, uh, define not good. Like uh, you're too much of a brain let to I'm solve puzzles. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Especially when it comes to zombies. zombie. That's when, no, 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 that's when Cheat that's Engine comes in. Because, uh, <laughs> yeah, my hot take is that scary games 
should be scary, but they should also be fun and not tedious. Because if a person spends like, what, two to three hours on a fucking puzzle, then that person, rather than getting scared, would just be fr- fucking frustrated, mm-hmm. you know? So instead of thinking, I have to run away from these spookies, uh, they're thinking, I should manage my inventory in this manner so I get this item from to this. Uh, mm-hmm. to, so I get the, 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 uh, the, an- the anti-fertilizers to plant 42. Right, 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 right. I don't know what you're talking about. He but knows. What I remember, what I remember, I don't just remember it because I just edited the video. Uh, from what you said with the Resident Evil mm-hmm. remakes that he didn't like was that one, it was too short. And two, is that it's not replayable. Like, if you replay it, it's not scary anymore because you know everything is going to happen. Unless you really have a, you know, psychological thing with yeah, zombies yeah, I guess. or something. So, see, that's not... That means that you're uh, too much of an alpha to be yeah. <laughs> scared. Yeah, of but uh, then, what's your take on games ooh. like Five Nights at Freddy's? Well, I, well, I'm not exactly scared of teddy bears. No jump scare games. <laughs> the one you just click on the screen. I don't mind jump scares. I, I don't. I don't mind jump scares as long as they're fun and the creature design is good. What do you What do you want to see in a spooky game? Do you want to see story? I, I want, want to, to be scared. scared. Yeah. I want to be entertained. He mm-hmm. wants everything. Yeah. yeah. You want gameplay action? Yes. I want to be scared. I want to have fun. And yeah, I want it all. <laughs> <laughs> you want it all. You want the mods. And this, I don't care if people think I'm a brainlet, but I'd rather, you know, want action than be bored. That's true. That's true. Because gameplay is, gameplay is what keeps you... Yeah. Playing so game. I guess Resident Evil 6 was the best one for you. No, it's 4. 4. <laughs> because four, 6 four? had the most action, right? Isn't no. 4 when <laughs> see, Chris see, was punching see. boulders? <laughs> yeah. 5. 5. 5. Is five, is five. Oh, okay. <laughs> see, see, I'm a gamer too. <laughs> no, 4 was the best because aside from all the, you know, uh, the ju- judo uh, judo stuff, all the roundhouse kick stuff, all the laser dodging stuff, there's also pretty scary parts like the cult and the the tentacles coming out of heads when you shoot the heads, mm-hmm. you know. So, you like so, so it had both scary elements, the cult, the uh, Las Plagas shit, and there's also Leon. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know what, Leon, what it means. They, they'll, they'll get what it means, you know. Leon doing this. <laughs> it's like Over Prince the of, lasers. I, I imagine Prince of Persia. And, 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 and that, that Krauser fight, that was so... You know the the one I'm referring to. Yes, the, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. The the f- the fight with the buff Russian man. Does it not even four? Four. No, 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 no. My bad. Man. Oh, no, we should. We should. If you know, you should. Know. You should stream Resident Evil Four in the future while I tell you what to do because I've I've finished uh, Resident <laughs> Evil Four. <laughs> you what to do? <laughs> Resident <laughs> Evil Four professional uh, only difficulty. If only if you're a sub. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Mm. One, 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 you uh, gotta sub every every time he streams, <laughs> each and every time. I'll definitely sub in the future. Do you know what that means, man? Yeah, yeah, because because I I. What does it mean? You you sub on Twitch, so you you pay them money. So do you have the money to pay? Not right now. So <laughs> that's why I said in the future. <laughs> it's okay. Now, if, if anything, we'll we'll we definitely will support you, man. Uh, you know. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, how do you say this? Uh, as far as this conversation has been going, I've been liking you. So, you know, <laughs> I imagine that your streams are also going to, you know, pretty you guys good. are cool. You guys are cool. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I like those compliments. <laughs> <laughs> like now and subscribe. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We keep, we keep forgetting to say that only at the end and only at some videos we remember to do really? that. <laughs> yeah. We're not really good at promoting our stuff as well. It feels weird to promote yourself, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Like, oh, like. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's get back to streaming. How do you promote yourself? What are the exact words? I don't. You don't? I just play for fun. There was this one guy, this random dude who joined my chat. He told me he'll buy me a game just to play with him. Oh. But being me. I didn't sounds want like to take money sounds from Sounds like others. you can already open an OnlyFans. <laughs> 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 with those with those guys. I don't I don't I don't want that shit. I want I don't know. Yeah, just enjoy, That's, right? Yeah, just yeah. enjoy. If you want to watch I me play, that. then watch me play. I get that. I get that. Yeah, he's like if that. You want to uh, pay me $5 a month? He's, please. He's do. like that uh, 
good guy streamer, the one that builds. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. The one I showed stuff. you. Ah, him. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the woodworker yeah, yeah. guy. You yeah. like that guy. But then, no, he he accepts this, the 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 subs. That guy was if, like, if no, you want. Only if you want. No, no, I didn't say exactly don't like sub. that guy. Don't don't waste your money on me, mate. <laughs> you can you can spend it on all the things. We have a corona right now. Yeah. That's how I remember he always says it. Inspirational, <laughs> inspirational. <laughs> but then, like, yeah, I mean, so how, 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 I don't know. How, how's your uh, streaming been going? Like, you, again, you said you had that guy and you've had oh, people. So sub- far, my stream's more of a roller coaster, right? Sometimes uh, zero views. Oh, really? One to two views. I'd, re- I'd, re- I'd already be so happy. And actually, my goal. Mm-hmm. Is getting 50 followers right I now. I think you recently hit 52, right? No, no, no. I have 45. So close. Five more. But you already got two. It's 47. Yeah. When we get when he gets the money. <laughs> no, just follow. Follow. Oh, follow is different. Yeah. See, I don't know. I don't know Twitch stuff. So really? I gotta well, you know, just for inspiration, there's a guy we two have been following over the past few months, mm-hmm. and. I think when we both started viewing the guy, he he had like a what five hundred subscribers on YouTube and just a few watchers on mm-hmm. Twitch. Are you talking right about now, the handsome guy? Yeah, <laughs> I'm talking about Grappler. Yeah, <laughs> really? Yeah, he he's super. I don't know, he's just super charismatic as well and very handsome. <laughs> we always say that. Well, that's one plus. If yeah, you're a live streamer. Yeah, but I, I keep... he's a card game player, by the way. Yeah, and so are we at this point. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you we, play Legends of Runeterra? Uh, card game players. Do you have you tried playing like Legends of Runeterra or any? Uh, I've played Runeterra. Game? I've played. What? Really? Yeah. I played the one for Blizzard. Uh, Hearthstone. Hearthstone. I played MTG, online and cards and offline. <laughs> <laughs> at the risk of alienating viewers, uh, what deck did you play on Runeterra? I made my own deck. So made, what what, what, yeah, were, what, what were the regions? Regions. Um, Bilge, Bilgewater? Was it? Yeah, Bilgewater. Yeah, we not yet along with Bilgewater <laughs> and the, the Souls. What, what do you call uh, Shadow Isles. Shadow Isles. Bilge so, Shadow. And it's a deep deck? I'm assuming. No, no, no. It's not a yeah, deep that's deck. The only... that's, that's the meta. I made my own meta. Oh. So, so what was what was your win condition? Uh, yeah, well, you win remember condition. the champions champions that you used? I, uh, I you used Callista. I use what's her name? Elise. Okay. And so, so, so why is Bilgewater there? That's Bilgewater is the weird part there, right now. Oh, I, maybe I think it's not Bilgewater. I'm a two time um, master There's player, the so we, I have credentials. The one we know there is uh, usually with Callista and uh, Elise. It would be with uh, Freljord. Freljord. and they who endure. Yeah. Mm, oh wait I think it's not Bilgewood I think it's Iona not Ionia I- Ionia sorry Ionia Because I, I used Zed Ephemeral uh, With Shadow uh, Yeah yeah uh, Ephemeral yeah. Yeah. I can get yeah. that I can, I Deathmark I see that If I put, the, if I put that shark shit On the yeah. floor So why not Hecarim <laughs> Shark shit and then I have Hecarim He's part of the deck So you have four champions <coughs> Three Three no, said I have Alista Alista, 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 Alista 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 And then he said also Zed yeah, four. four, and you made it work so far. Oh, was well, that? Uh, I don't that, play around. I don't that's play. That's really uh, He doesn't play around. Oh, okay, I I'm a try hard. Yeah. Do you like? I you like card games. You like card? Uh, do you do I only games? got into into Legends of Runeterra. Uh, two time masters in Runeterra and, and then, uh, ten plus times king of games in Yu Gi Oh. And what has that What's done in of you? Games? What's King of Games? Uh, fun for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I think King of Games is kind of like Masters. Yeah. yeah. So is it like I, a rank uh, or something? Yeah. The top oh. rank in Yu-Gi-Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Just bragging rights. <laughs> did you participate? In, oh, did you, did you participate in tournaments? Live tournaments? Uh, or? Not tournaments, but I I participated in big time events. Mm-hmm. Like what? Uh, Kaya Bakap. Oh, that's, that's kind of known. It's small, but yeah, it's local, right? It's uh, it's international, but there's local so, as well. So yeah. I was facing players from all over Southeast Asia. She is. It's not really everyone gets to participate. Mm-hmm. You can participate uh. if you're a tryhard, <laughs> and and if you win. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, that's interesting. Like, I don't know, like, uh, because I again, I only tried Legends of Winter because he he just showed it to me and like, I just got into it. I but, like the art of Winter. Yeah, that's you can you can, you can get you can get a lot of like wallpapers from the game. <laughs> Easy. True. Just just screenshot those uh those card <laughs> designs and like 
boom, instant wallpaper. But I want to have. Have you have do you do you try? Because I've seen other people with this, like those live wallpapers. Um, just weird thing that I thought. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and then like you know, in in Runeterra, sometimes the 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 screen that's that's a wall, live wallpaper. Like for example, the water flowing in the built yeah. water. No, the one I liked the best was the the what do you call it? The spirit blossom mm. wallpaper that they have. Mm. Super cool. The one with Corina Veraza. Ah, was Corina? I don't know. Who's that? <laughs> it's it's uh, it's uh, the thick girl from uh, <laughs> Piltover and Zone. Uh, her skill is it's a nine, obliterate, she's a nine drop. Obliterated the how? It's how, nine magnum opus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How <laughs> many card? The top five cards of your deck for every and spell and for every spell deal one damage to the nexus and all of the enemy units. Mm. Wow. Yeah. So it's uh, she's not meta. She, he's just she's just meta in Van's heart. <laughs> Yes. Did you search? But, but, but my, true, search but my true waifu, by the way, just so you know, my true waifu is Sejuani. I like. Yeah, I like muscle girls. To each their own. To each their own. I like elf girls. You like yeah, muscle girls. It's it's. Uh, ah, it's definitely you... a dichotomy here. It's you know, on petite, frail. Yeah. That's why you got Ionia. <laughs> well, I don't know if they have elf girls, but it has, it's the closest uh, region I can think of that would have elf-like people. No, no, Ionia is the furry region. Ionia so, is so like it, the Asian region of. And yeah, when I think, oh, of, okay, yeah. when I think uh, of no, elves, no, no, I think he, of, he he must have been thinking about Eye of the Dragon and Claws, and I was thinking of uh, Fave <laughs> Fave Blur World, Fave Blade World. Yeah, uh, don't 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 drink that much. <laughs> <laughs> we still have a. I, still I'm have not that drunk. I'm just, you know, getting drunk. You're getting to the mood. Just a bit of a lad, a bit of a a, a lad, alpha lad. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, the the type of lad who will crash uh, the SUV into yeah, an LVC, LVC truck. truck. <laughs> so uh, yeah, not necessarily drunk. Just not kind. Yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, anyway, <clears throat> I think we should go on to the next part of the podcast. Oh, do you guys want to take a break first? Uh, I can shoot. I can still shoot the shit out of you. Okay, I'll cut this part out. Maybe I don't know. But anyway, uh, well, I told you before we started mm-hmm. the podcast, we we're gonna do a, an online quiz, <laughs> quiz game trivia game that we can just find. So so far with what we've talked about, what do you feel like you uh, want to take a little quiz on? So I could just search online. How about you guys surprise me? Is this is this recorded? Yeah, Spot? yeah. I mean, I might take it or I might not, so it's okay. Surprise me, surprise me. What do you think, Van? Hmm. Do we do a hardcore Tolkien? Oh, well, <laughs> give me a... Since we're nearing the end, then I, I, I don't think we've talked about it. Let's do a My Little Pony quiz. Oh, no. Okay, okay. It's been a while, it's been a while. Yeah, yeah and we can also talk about it while... while you, know. you mind if I stay here? My there's no That's blood okay. circulating it's okay. in my leg. <laughs> it's okay. I think I'm also feeling the same, but I don't have anywhere to lean on. My Little Pony. How did you get into My Little Pony, man? Well, That's one of the few things... Got it's here hard to find people who like... Didn't he mention this? that I'm an avid 4chan user? You are? Yes, I am. <laughs> And why did you find my little pony there? <laughs> because of all the, you know, porn threads. And I don't watch for the, you know, for sexual reasons. I watch for wholesome reasons. But I, I knew about it because people were into clopping. <laughs> Is this still being recorded? Yeah. Because I, I, I can yeah. elaborate on clopping if you, if you extract it out no, of No, nobody's me. asking, Van. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you notice, nobody's asking. <laughs> no one's asking. But you're, you know, if you want to say... Uh, you but know, nobody's asking. Nobody's asking. It's not that weird because it's it was the very act of clapping was referenced in Deadpool too. I think so. It's you know even if it's weird, it's a part of mainstream culture now. What in is a way. clapping? What do you mean by clapping? Uh, just just pleasuring yourself to uh, My Little Pony figurines and uh, art, like furries. Yeah. yeah. But a very specifically specific, for, I guess, yeah. Because if you remember, story. Deadpool was, you know, uh, having his way with the. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> you don't have you not watched? I watched. I don't both? remember what you're saying. Mm, the, I, when when he when he had the baby hand, he was. Ah yeah yeah yeah. Was so it that, clapping? 
Yeah, it's called clopping. Okay. <laughs> Because horses, you know. Uh, Okay. Oh. Yeah. Right, right, right. Okay, okay, okay. So let's just go on with the quiz. <laughs> go, go ahead. Because so far you're, you're the one who's showing that you're the My Little Pony master. Here. I hope I hope this is not a hard quiz. Well, it's uh called the ultimate My Little Pony quiz, uh, by this website called Bino, not sponsored. Am I the only one answering? Or? Yeah. Well, uh, you you'll you'll answer and we've Brandon, established yeah. that I'm a bit of a. Dabbler. Me, me I've, I've only watched before, like, but I don't know why. I think I just saw it and like, eh, want to see it. And, you know, it was a good show. And I didn't really mind like people judging others that it's, you know, like a kid's show or anything like that. Because it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good show just by itself. It's a show with good morals for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if you like Powerpuff Girls and I, yeah, yeah, I, I, I still like watch Powerpuff the shit Girls. out of Powerpuff Girls this day, you'd like my little Yeah, Powerpuff. I'd like, I like Powerpuff Girls growing up. Uh, so again, let's go on with the Doesn't quiz. That's to be weird. And let's go on with the quiz, man. Let's go on with the quiz. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Uh, so number one here. Uh, do you want? Could there? There's choices. Do you want me to say the choice, or or you want to be uh, an alpha chat and just go on without choices? Let's go first without. Oh without wow, choice. nice. Okay. So I'm, I'm I think this one's easy. Where did, where do the main six live? Ponyville. Okay, it's here. Let's get that. <clears throat> Are the ponies Equestia? born with their cutie mark? I don't, I I don't have to answer you right now. <laughs> no, I think Equestria is like the the country. The, yeah, so uh, your answer is more specific, and Equestria is not in the choices as well. Oh, okay. So here, are ponies born with their cutie mark? Well, I guess mm. they will need the choices here. No. Mm. The cutie mark Crusaders didn't have their cutie mark. Mm. You know what? You know you know that. Yeah, I, I, I don't have to, you know, provide the body language. Just not, to... just not, just not. What? What's <laughs> what's wrong with cutie mark? It's just their thigh thing, right? What? It's what this, it's what resembles their yeah on their, talent, but yeah. but on their thigh. Yeah, See, true. I'm I'm that basic. <laughs> anyway, let's go to number three. There's only ten questions here, so don't uh, worry okay. about it too much. So, <clears throat> who in the main six is an alicorn? I forgot what an alicorn was. At least tell me that, man. What was an alicorn? If I tell you the answer, you'll know. No, just tell me what an alicorn is. You'll know if I tell you what an alicorn is. Can you repeat the question? Who in the main six is an alicorn? Just who? Which one of them is the uh, is the alicorn? I'd say Twilight Sparkle, if she's in the choices. Well, it's uh, Princess Twilight Sparkle to you. <laughs> true. True. Well, I think that's good. That could. I haven't reached that far. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's it, it is the uh, oh yeah I didn't oh yeah when since when did you be, become a princess fuck I didn't, spoilers I damn <laughs> uh, Here. season three I think uh, season what three. is the full name of Rarity's pet cat well it's just not, <laughs> that that's it's, a hard it's just one, one name it's, it's not like that's a hard names. one okay I need the choices here okay one opalina opalina two opalescence three opal opalorella For Opality. Okay. I'd say Opalarina. Do you agree, Van? Yeah. It sounds like something uh, yeah. she would say. Maybe. Yeah, yeah it makes sense. Wait. You know, oh, yeah, it's yeah, a shame yeah, Rarity's yeah, yeah. uh, my favorite. Ugh. And I can't even answer. Damn. <laughs> She's cool. Okay, She's cool. Uh, so this one is a picture. Well, that's too easy. Let me just describe it because it's no. if if you see the picture you'll know who it is right away. At least I know who it is right away. I'm not. Don't the look one at the picture. The uh, so <laughs> it says, "Whose cutie, cutie mark is this?" So the cutie mark uh, is uh, assembled by, uh, yeah, uh, the symbols are bu uh, butterflies. Oh, it's Fluttershy. Yeah, super super easy. Even I can get this answer. Uh, here, <clears throat> number six. What is Rainbow Dash's go-to aerial move? <gasps> I, mm. uh, I, uh, we're, we're having the same feelings right now, even if I'm not taking the quiz. It's something with a sonic rain boom, I think. Oh, you got it. That's the only. That's in the choices. So, yeah. and the and it's kind of I don't know if it I if, if, if it was a distraction <laughs> because the other ones. I love my little with, pony. I'm, <laughs> I'm a brony through and through. That's nice, that's nice, man. Because the other ones they started with rainbow something something, and it's the only one Sonic Rainbow, and it's the best answer, I guess. Also, uh, let's go number four. Oh, okay, so it doesn't show really in the picture. 
But what color are Spike's eyes? Spike. Spike. Oh, the dragon. Green. Yeah, that's the best color you match with purple as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how about this? Oh, here. Because I don't remember the answer for this one. What is Pinkie Pie's full name? <laughs> Have to your face. I know. I need the choices. <laughs> I'll, number, I'll, I'll let Ben. No, no, no. Let's, let's go to the choices first. Oh, sure, see. sure. So number one, Pinkie Pooh Delilah Pie. Number two, Pinkarina Daisy Pie. Three, Pinkarin, Pinkarin Key Destiny Pie. Four, Pinkamina Diane Pie. Well, that's the only thing Ben did not, did not do. Let's make, can I make Ben answer this? Uh, sure, go ahead. It's D. It's D. Yeah, because you, it was, you were already not, you were already saying no yeah. to the other yeah, ones. Yeah, I, I noticed. <laughs> it's not that hard to guess. Oh, <laughs> uh, here. Uh, where does Applejack work? It's the name of the... Apple Oaks Farm? If that's, if that's mm, it. No, not here. Not in the choices. You want the choices? Yeah. <clears throat> Number one is Granny Smith Acres. Number two, Crunchy Apple Farm. Number three, Sweet Apple Acres. Number four, Green Apple or- or Orchard. One. Number one, Granny, Granny Smith, Smith Acres. Okay, okay. I'm not so sure with that as well. Uh, huh. I'm getting real competitive here for some reason. <laughs> okay, okay. So this one, uh, it's... What's different from the others? Okay. Which one of these is not an element of harmony of the main six? So I'm going to list four of mm-hmm. them. So adventure, kindness, laughter, and magic. Adventure. It's not part of it. Oh. Well, let's see what you got. Or at least you and Van got. One point goes to Van. For sure. Let's see. Let's see. And, oh, man. Why is the internet not? Okay, wait. Come on, load. It's taking a long time. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Oh, you scored 8 out of 10. Where did... Where did... <laughs> I didn't go wrong. Ah, uh, here. So, the number 9 was wrong. The uh, word is Applejack work. It's actually Sweet Apple sweet Acres. Apple acres. And uh, number... She's the least like her 4, <laughs> also, with uh, the name of Rarity's Pet Cat, which Van, liking Rarity the most, didn't get. <laughs> what was the answer? Uh, Opalescence. For me, it sounds more like posh, so it, it makes would, more it sense for a uh, easier to say rarity. <laughs> but yeah, like uh, again, I guess with everything we've we've been you know asking you about, how did you also get started with uh, my little like he started with 4chan. I just started. I forgot really where. I just saw it online and just watched it. Hmm. I guess I stumbled upon it in one of the websites when, and then I really got into it. Because honestly, because of the art. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, getting unique, into it is. It had a unique it. art style. I don't know what about it, but it really got me hooked in, along with the, the voice, uh, the voice actor. Oh yeah, also good voice acting. The really songs agree. were one of it. The songs were really good, to be honest. Becoming as popular as popular can be. I don't remember the songs, but make I remember really mark, good. Make my mark. And the generally, the the morals of the story really. I'd say made me who I am right Ooh. now. I really when I when I watch shows like that, I really take in the the, lesson. like the lessons. The lessons. Oh. So from all the cartoons I've watched, My Little Pony, Adventure Time, uh, Star versus the Forces of Evil. You know, since you mentioned Adventure Time, I just want to ask you if you watched uh, uh, what you call it, Midnight Gospel. Midnight Gospel. You don't know that. I think it. I don't know if it's from the maker of Adventure Time or like uh, artist of Adventure Time, but it's basically it would make sense for this podcast because it's a it's a show about a space podcast, a space cast. Really? Yeah, but also with that, uh, how do you say this? It's not. Uh, it's not a show. I don't think it's a show that has morals or like a, like a moral of a story because again, it's really just literally. Like they recorded like this. Like if we made this podcast and mm-hmm. then we just made an animation of it, like not not like how we're talking right now. Like uh, just imagine. I get, I haven't. Sorry, I haven't watched <laughs> Adventure Time. Oh, I did. I do good. know about it, but I'm guessing. Like imagine if you know how a, a regular episode of Adventure Time would you know run, mm-hmm. but then they're they're just talking the whole time about 
you know, uh, a specific topic or something. That's cool. It's cool. But it's animated. Yeah, it's animated. And, 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 uh, I don't know, uh, I think this already has, uh, you know, Adventure, Adventure Time already has this like vibe, but then with, with, uh, mid, uh, with Midnight Man, with, uh, Midnight Gospel, Mm -hmm. it's, it's on Netflix and it's, I guess, uh, not made for kids is how I'd say it. So it really has a lot of druggy vibes to it when you <laughs> Joking, Yeah, right? like 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 it would just just watch the first episode, man. You'll see right away, like uh from when he goes to this world, it's just really Oh yeah, and also the first episode is talking about drugs. They're just talking about um marijuana and stuff it's like, like something that. Something from adults, I might say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. But then in Netflix, so no. It does make sense that uh it would if it was made like a how do you say it's 10 years ago? Yeah. It would be an adult swim, mm-hmm. as I'd imagine. But yeah, it's a, that's a, that's a show without uh, lessons in the story. And also one thing I also remember that might not have lessons in the story. Can you tell me, Van, if this, I'm correct with this? Uh, are you listening, Van? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, have I, you, I was just really thinking about Adult Swim because uh, I thought you were. Just, I had a flash of brilliance when you mentioned Adult Swim. I thought you were just um, appreciating your. And face. this is not even in, um, our recommendation part, but I recently, you know, I watched a trailer for, they'll be making a new, uh, adaptation, an anime adaptation of Uzumaki on Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you mentioned that also in yeah. our PlayStation Uzumaki 5. Dayo? Uh, Uzumaki by Junji Ito. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You know that? No. You know Junji Ito? No. He, well, oh, he said oh, he's, yeah, uh, scared with, the cat. Yeah, does, uh, you're not good with horror. Because he's, he's, uh, he's one of, like, the best. You know, you, we have a good horror podcast. Man, uh, manga because, because artists. Because I'm really into horror, and, you know, it's you who is really affected by horror. Because, so, in a way, I want to have your, uh, level of resistance to fear. Not resistance. Resistance. Resi- oh, yeah. His level of resistance to fear is low. So you want that. Okay. Yeah. I, I yeah, get yeah, what yeah, you yeah, mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I want to be more scared of what I'm consuming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So in a way, I want to swap places. Yeah, you can live in this house. It's just across you. <laughs> but living in this house, you know, yeah. it suddenly make me... <laughs> Maybe. You don't know. <laughs> Maybe. But yeah, anyway. Uh, one thing, one, one show that I also remembered, because uh, again, I always wanted to mention, uh, since you mentioned... Uh, fuck, I kept saying mentioned. Since you said uh, the thing about Lessons in the story. Have you watched uh, uh, Cowboy Bebop? Also in Adult Swim, I think. Before. Back then, I did. I did. Ah, so you, I don't uh, remember certain details. There's You'll a, remember if you watch like it as an adult. Yeah, no, because because uh, that's that's one thing. Like, how, do you remember? Like, were you like a teenager when you first saw it? Watched it? No. Yes. I think. No, yeah. yeah, I think. Uh, around so. that time or, or, or almost. Late teens or early teens? Early teens, for sure. Okay. Yeah. So that makes sense because. Uh, I forgot. Is this is this from uh, uh, Super Eye Patch Wolf or someone else? Probably yeah. Eye Patch Wolf. We hey, there. There's like a a video on YouTube that talked about that. Like uh, watching, you can you can probably watch it again, and I don't mm-hmm. know, maybe find more enjoyment in it or relatability to it because mm-hmm. they did say that really Cowboy Bebop is uh, uh, it's there's two aspects to it. One that can be enjoyed by you know teenagers. Which is like, you know, fun, actiony movie cool, stuff like that. Yeah. Cool. But then the other yeah. aspect is relatability as like an uh, adult, I guess, uh, where, you know, if you've experienced more in life, so you can really see how, how they're representing it in the show. But also because it's a episodic show, it's like, uh, I don't know, like, uh, is this? No. Well, yeah, if, if you, if you say, uh, with My Little Pony, it's also kind of episodic because it's, it, Sometimes kind of, but yeah. there are still arcs. Yeah, yeah. Well, also, like Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, like Cowboy Bebop. So, what they mean episodic is like episode one and uh, starts and ends with a specific story, but then when you go to episode two, it doesn't really have any connection. Something like uh, the, the, the detective Conan. Conan. Yeah, I haven't watched it. <laughs> no, I mean well, like I, every episode. It's a different. Excuse me, different case. Episodes have different stories. Yeah, 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 yeah. But mm-hmm. developments that are made in one episode would uh, naturally carry over to the next. For example, not in Cowboy sure, Bebop. Sure. For example, if someone gets their cutie mark in one ep, it yeah, will yeah, be yeah. gone in the next. Yeah, 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 yeah. That with with, with yeah with my little pony. That's why I agree with with what you said there. <clears throat> so that's how different it is with Cowboy Bebop because sometimes usually it's like them being involved in other people's lives and it's more of. That you know that the uh, that guest character I guess, mm-hmm. uh, their story starts and ends in that episode. But then there is also like a, an overarching 
uh, storyline with each of the characters in Cowboy Bebop that that gets explored sometimes in two episodes or three episodes, but then again, there's no. I don't think there's a real big <laughs> most lesson. of them one. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know Cowboy Bebop was that deep. To be honest, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very profound. It's really. Yeah. I wouldn't say deep, but if you're an adult with problems, <laughs> you'd enjoy the shit out of Cowboy Who's Bebop. Not an adult with problems. Yeah, exactly. That's why, <laughs> and you know. It, That's why I I recommend maybe maybe a fun thing would be like uh you know the the shows that or even maybe games that we've uh, mm-hmm. recommended here today if we come back here another time hopefully you'll be able to at least see or try them and then see what you can uh, tell us about it maybe you say that our opinions were wrong <laughs> that, it, <laughs> yeah, that, maybe, that Cowboy like Bebop it. wasn't really that deep <laughs> <laughs> I might not, like not deep but really relatable and it validates you because if you see some form of media or another person with the same problems then you'll think that huh maybe this is really a part of life oh yeah definitely definitely well like uh yeah i guess with that we can we can really continue on to our uh last uh <clears throat> segment yeah go ahead. which we do here in uh, the the show which is again recommendations yeah. uh so would you want to start with your recommendations or you want us to start Uh, please start. Please start. Oh, you start. Please. I'll be the first because I'm the one who is most passionate about one particular thing in this period of time. Mm-hmm. Right now, I'm really passionate about the game Hades. You know, for a really long time, like months, months, I've been really, you know, just tired from all the games I've been playing. You know, I'll play Spellbreak, and you know, it's fun for a bit, but I don't want to try hard. I'll play Runeterra. I've gotten two masters, and that's that. I don't want to play it anymore. And yeah, the same goes for what a subtle brag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really goes for a lot of games, but. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, for a long time, I have not played a game like uh, Dark Souls or uh, Cuphead. You know, just a single player game that challenges you. But in a way, the challenge is not the point. But the point is really the game itself. That's what I got from Hades. Hades is the game I'm recommending now. You know, I'm not a guy who, you know, likes uh, roguelikes. I, I'm not really, I wasn't ever really a fan of just Uh, random rooms of random enemies with random weapons but Hades really got me it's really mm-hmm. fun experimenting with the different buffs the different weapons and the, the art the music if you're a metalhead you like it and the story itself it's really compelling so you know if you're a gamer who's you know been uh, not really into games for a while maybe you'll get uh, joy like I did from Hades do you think you fall under that category? I might. It, it se- sounds interesting for sure. You, you, how long did you have you been playing Hades, by the way? I, I played for uh, three days and I finished the game eight times. In well, I beat days. the final boss eight times, but uh, you know, finishing the game is like getting the true ending. I have still not oh, gotten the true ending. Endings. Yeah. With uh, oh. you know finishing the to game give, eight times, to you give really... the audience a uh, uh, perspective on this, I asked Van and he did say yes. It's like. Near Automata, have you played that game? Yeah. So I that's that's the best comparison I have. I haven't played it, but when I asked him, he said it is like that, like Near Automata, where you know you can finish the game, but then it's not really the finish. end yet. Yeah. Mm. So you kind of you kind of go through maybe like one arc and then another arc and then you know. Yeah, but with Near it's five, but I finished the game eight times. And it's, you'll play it a lot, but you'll enjoy the shit because out of, of it because of the plot isn't it in- not only the plot but <laughs> you know you know it's really fun experimenting with new weapons and you know even if you play w- just one weapon experimenting with different buffs of different gods on that particular weapon mm-hmm. it's a new gameplay experience every time for sure, for sure. and I'm, I'm not a shell I don't work for the company <laughs> I, I just love the shit out of it. yeah my, what a game what a game my god <laughs> 10 of 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 definitely <laughs> I'm putting I'm I'm putting my my Mic foot, foot down. <laughs> I want to wait like maybe one month after, and then he'll say I'm burned out of the game as well. And it's not that good <laughs> anymore. And like, and then on to the next game. That's just kidding. Do you think you'll get burned out? Well, I'll I'll burn I'll get burned out if I already achieved the true ending. But you know, even after eight playthroughs, 
I ha- still haven't gotten the true ending, and re- st- still for now, I'm still experimenting with different, you know, uh, weapons, different buffs on these weapons. Because for uh, for each particular buff, you you uh, need a god to give a buff to that weapon, and you you talk to these gods, and it's yeah, interesting shit. My god, fuck. that's the most that's the game. most time that god, that Van has ever talked to gods. <laughs> he, he never, <laughs> no, in real life he doesn't really even talk to god like oh but then in the video game mm, he's gonna talk to god <laughs> but yeah i mean i just wanted to you know since i did mention it earlier like, if you're gonna burn out i always want to just say like you know it is, it is a re- i don't think it really matters if you burn out of a game it doesn't mean that it's bad mm. like you can get burned out of a really really good game but that doesn't make it not good uh like a uh, not yeah, good yeah, game yeah, anymore yeah. like yeah it has multiple meanings yeah yeah i mean I wouldn't say Destiny is shit, but it's shit for me right now because of my burnout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess objectively it would still be a good game, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you know, chances of getting burned out are like a hundred percent. I think for many games, aside from maybe games that you know really prioritize on getting the people addicted, a- yeah, and the competitive aspect. Yeah, mm. online games, I guess. For sure, you know. for sure. You know, but, what 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 would happen to games if there were no loot boxes? Nobody would get addicted to making, to playing these games and paying more money to to the corporations. That yeah. Them. But yeah, uh, you want to make your recommendation first, so you no. want me? To, okay. Go, go ahead. Uh, yeah. So I, I did ask you about this earlier, just to make sure that you haven't watched this, because I don't know if I remember this, because our recommendations for this episode were supposed to be for him, but you well, were really. Well, doing... I got him interested, so yeah. I've done my yeah. job. Yeah. Well, I've seen it before, on your job. before coming here. I've already seen some gameplay. So. Ah, you already seen it? Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. But I was the one that, you know. I, yeah, was, I didn't I, know about the multiple endings. I was that the needle bad. upon the haystack. I was the straw <laughs> upon right. the horse's back. Right, right, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you thought about very deep uh, metaphors. <laughs> we'll just have to agree. Uh, nobody really said that, right? Aside from Van, no, uh, yeah, I haven't so, heard. It's first time. Yeah, it's 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 you know, really inspirational stuff that you got there. That's what you get. I, I'm the Vin <laughs> Diesel of convincing people to. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just you're just alpha. You're just doing your alpha stuff on them you're an alpha un- until they play it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, anyway, uh, I guess I'm kind of the opposite with Van on this because mm-hmm. this my recommendation is something I've recommended to all people and nobody has that I've recommended it to has actually finished it, which is uh, <laughs> yeah, it's true, really? fully coolie. You know the funny thing about it is, it's an anime and it's only six episodes and nobody has six finished episodes? it. Yeah, not it's six regular uh, length episodes, like twenty minutes. Twenty four minutes. Yeah, yeah. twenty four minutes. So it's not even that long, but I don't know why nobody. Uh, why do you think? It. Why do you think? Because I'm not as alpha as but to, to, to force people <laughs> to keep watching it. Because I just tell them like, yeah, it's good. I re- uh, here, let me let me try with you. So, uh, oh yeah, there's here's the, here's a reason why. Because it's hard to explain what fully Cooly is. That's like the main uh the main crux of the anime. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me just tell you one epi- one thing that happens in one episode. Uh, it's episode five, so it's kind of near the ending, but this part doesn't really spoil anything. <laughs> because there's this one part, mm-hmm. uh, a guy's getting a haircut in, uh, you know, a salon. That, that, that scene was animated in a, uh, South Park, like literally South Park style, uh, animation. <laughs> and then, uh, like a few seconds later, someone just comes in, literally guns blazing. And then it's a totally different art style where it's super action packed and like, you know, it's, it's just really weird. So <clears throat> I don't know. Again, fuck, it's really hard to, to start with this, uh, with this anime. Uh, <laughs> let's just tell you the, uh, the, 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 how they made it. Mm. So the, the anime was made, uh, it was like at the, at the turn of like, uh, anime technology, I guess is how they say it, where, uh, you know, cell shaded artworks. If mm-hmm. you know, like it, it, it was at the near, near of the, it was nearing the end of its life cycle. So this was made at 2001. Uh, so this was, uh, really, it's not Gynex. No, you know, Gynex. No. Gynex is the, the studio that made, uh, Evangelion, if I remember correctly. So they're kind of like some of the people I think are from there or mm. related to them. Uh, and the maker of this just wanted to, you know, do everything, literally do everything he, he could think of 
for the, for an anime. And, uh, again, like that with South Park style and different style. And it's also, again, from the very first episode, there's, uh, there's a 3D style where they go full matrix mode, which is very uh, outdated already. Mm. Uh, and, uh, this is the only anime that I've seen so far, I think, that they didn't make an original soundtrack for it. Instead, they got a, un, not really unknown, but I guess unknown in the anime community, an unknown. An indie-ish band. Yeah, punk. They're actually considered as punk band, a punk yeah. band in Japan, which they're, let's just say the name. Uh, they're the, the pillows. Have you heard of them? No, I haven't. See? That's how <laughs> indie they are. Yeah. So there's the pillows. Uh, the director, I guess, he just really liked their music. He got them, he asked them if they could, you know, uh, get into this, to his anime. And at first they were like, what the hell? We don't, they don't even watch anime or they don't even, they're not even interested in anime, but he, he, he somehow got to convince them. Mm-hmm. And they just, they just used like, uh, their songs, like from their recent albums into the anime. So instead of, instead of making, uh, you know, like maybe, uh, a, a fight scene or, uh, just a scene and then putting music into it. They literally got the music and then molded a s- scenes around them. So it's, so one thing that I, I'm With not, consent for sure. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, they, <laughs> they, 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 they did, of course, really sign up to it. Uh, one thing that I, I'm not sure if I, it is a good thing to say. Mm-hmm. Uh, I saw a comment before, uh, that said like, fully cool is just like one big music video. So it has like that vibe of like, a, you're watching a music video with the story. Yeah. But it, of it, course, they have. It has a story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's the hard part to say, cause, uh, uh, okay, let's just say the story, uh, it's, it's a coming of age story. That's the basic, like, that's, that's the base. Mm-hmm. Uh, it has robots. It has, uh, the punk music. Yeah. It has guitars in it. Uh, and it has, uh, with, with the coming of age stories, it has that, like, what do you call that? Uh, oh, the coming of age for a, for a boy. So yeah. it, it had like these kind of sexual innuendos in it where, you know, the, he's, he's, he's learning his, you know, uh, he's horny. What, what? He's horny. Well, yeah, yeah. Kind of like that. <laughs> like he's learning how, how, no, not how to be horny. <laughs> he's learning like, oh, to the, manage the, his horniness. Kind of like that. There's, there's, there, there's that aspect in that. And there's also a teenage girl that's smoking there. Like, it's mm-hmm. really, it's, it's hard. To, how would you say it, Van, from the episodes that you, you watched until episode four, I think? Uh, I, it's just the last episode I didn't watch. So, oh, five. five. So, okay. Is you it get, like JoJo? Where it, no, 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 very, no, very, no, no. I mean, okay. See, now, what I, what I, what I'd say is it might be like on the same level of craziness as JoJo, but not, that, yeah, nothing that. like JoJo. And it's just, it's just about this boy who's very awkward. He's insecure and now he's horny for this new hot girl who um, came into his life. And now this new girl is very out of this world. And you know, there's hijinks uh, here no, and there. I, and not, he just has I don't to, agree with that. He's not awkward. He, he thinks he's better than other people. He's that kind of kid. It's he, the first episode. Well, oh, that's kind of awkward. It's the first episode of that in the bridge, a scene in the bridge. Uh, on the, it, it's on, on the bridge? A, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On yeah. Bridge? It's on a bridge. Uh, I think I, saw I remember I tried watching. Is it, it, was it too weird for you? No, no, no. I don't know what I did after. I think I was busy <laughs> back then. I, I got interested in the art when I saw. I think a lot of people have, that ha, has a, that effect with a lot of people. The pink haired girl? Yeah, that's, that's the, that I got interested in her art. So I tried watching an episode. <laughs> haru, haru, haru. Yeah. And I don't know what made me stop, but go ahead, please. Yeah, so. Maybe, maybe you just forgot to watch it. Yeah, I don't maybe, know. maybe, maybe. Then it has the same effect with a lot of people. I don't know why. But yeah, uh, again, it has, you know, these coming of age themes in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, as Vanna said, just because, uh, you know, being a horny kid, uh, is, I guess, the most basic way to say it. Uh, the cool thing is, like, even secondary characters, such as, uh, if you remember the, the bridge scene, so it has the boy, uh, pink haired girl, mm-hmm. uh, the boy is, uh, What's his name? Takun, Tarukun, uh, Naota. Yeah. That's his real name. Naota. Uh, it has Haruko. And then there's this other girl, uh, Mamimi. She's, she has like her own like little, uh, side arc in the story, which is really also interesting if you get to watch it. Cause it's really, again, I guess that's more of the insecure type of person. Cause, uh, she does have, uh, I, I saw this on, on Wikipedia recently. I just, I don't know. I just searched them. 
But do you know this term called uh I forgot the name of the term, but it's it's based on uh you know the story of Don Quixote. No, no, no. So Quixote sim. I think it's Quixote sim that they call it. Uh, the Don Quixote was he's a he's a he's this guy who's a bit crazy, as these people think he's crazy, and mm-hmm. then he every day he tries to charge a windmill. That's not how it goes. <laughs> I mean that's not like the the main point of the story of Don Quixote. Yeah, but there's the guy. The, the main point of the main him. point of Don Quixote's story is that he's very imaginative. Mm-hmm. Like he uh he really the the point of the windmill and that and the Don Quixote story is he imagines it as giants that he's fighting. So <laughs> yeah, so again with 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 fully cool. <laughs> again, I just want to say this: it's just it's just a show that people should watch. Uh. Maybe, maybe next time if you come here and if you get to watch it, you can you can give a better explanation to it. Well, tell me what I can look forward to. Oh yeah, you can. if I enjoy action, if I enjoy comedy, do I get a little bit of both? Yep, you get those. You, you get, get those some definitely. Randoms, some yes. Of these episodes. You know, is there romance? When I was at the condo, I was really drunk, and I remember <laughs> really enjoying an episode. You know, I don't actually remember the episode. I enjoyed being drunk, but my. Enjoyment from being drunk was heightened from watching that episode. <laughs> This isn't everything enjoyable when you're drunk. <laughs> yeah, but but you know, I, I would have enjoyed it less had I not been. Uh, I remember that, drunk. that episode that you really like, and that one. It also has like uh, good lessons, I guess. Yeah, because I was going through a thing in my life, mm-hmm. and you know, it kind of helped me with yeah. that thing in my life. Even though I have not finished the anime, just even watching particular apps. Okay, tell me. Certain apps will get to you. Why didn't you finish the anime? What kept you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's the magic of fully coolly. If we were to let you watch the last episode right now, would you watch it fully? Coolly? Well, sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, we can do that next time. Right? <laughs> maybe, maybe you can react, watch react, the react, you can watch the five episodes and we can we can watch the okay. six okay. episode. <laughs> Well, I I don't want to you know uh, stomp on Cars's dream of spreading fully coolly, but here's my take on fully mm. coolly. Mm-hmm. It's something I'd watch if I'm going through a phase that I know I will be able to relate if I watch a fully coolly app. But if I'm just you know just shooting the shit, just enjoying the shit out of my life, or even not enjoying, just coasting through, I I probably wouldn't be motivated. You can say that's a positive thing about animes right now it helps people with their so maybe that's why i i haven't watched it because uh, i i never got to thinking that you know a fully cool app would probably help me what's that uh, psychology world a uh, word what recover yeah when you cry what's that word grief no 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 release the release another word for release I don't know. I'm thinking of something else. Well, it will give me an emotional release. Oh. That's the thing. So if I'm not really, you know, looking for an, an emotional release, maybe fully cool is not for me at the moment. You know, maybe that's, that's actually that, that's actually uh, like a, 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 a I think a better recommendation that I thought of yeah. because <laughs> I never thought of fully cool as an emotional release. I like I. I well, I, it's your thing. Yeah, like the opposite of what you said. Like I I I've watched it so many times just because I enjoy it. Just well, I don't of, enjoy it, but you know, yeah. if I'm going through a phase, it helps me. Mm. Well, anime affects different people in different yeah. ways. Makes sense, also, but you know, ah, here's one thing. I oh wait, you didn't watch Evangelion, right? No, I'm but watching you, but Evangelion, you know, but you know about it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like do you know, like Blue the haired girl, red haired girl, and the you know story. I've always heard that the guy made a dumb move. I don't know the exact reason why people call him stupid. Shinji, right? Yeah, well, it, it, it's it's kind of a meme where they say, you know, Shinji. Oh, Shinji. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't understand. Well, it's not. Yeah. I, think, no, I, I I won't spoil you, but it's it's a sexual thing. No, not just because of that. Uh, well, this might be a spoiler, but then I think like. It's because he's so indecisive, indecisive in in the whole story that you know it. it and, and normies would you know would think that you know if I if I get to fight in a giant robot I would but mm-hmm. ah yeah yeah he's yeah he's living with the reality of you know possibility of death. Ah yeah 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 the giant yeah, yeah, robot, yeah. So right. he expresses realistic human uh, reactions yeah. to fighting in that giant robot. Oh yeah, big. That's one thing I wanted to ask because like you know you you 
what we know about you also is that you like you know mech anime, right? Yeah. So like it would re- it would really should it should have made sense for you to watch uh, Evangelion because it's like the the anti mech anime at least at the time it was made, and then you know Gurren Lagann was the anti anti mech anime. But then again, going with uh, with uh, the Evangelion, it it's uh, how do you say this? Okay, like what 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 like what Van was saying because like you know, I don't know I haven't watched sorry I haven't watched uh like Gundam shows mm-hmm. and stuff like that but I imagine like they're more of like you know being heroic uh, no you know, for no? me it's I, I know it can be political right the Gundam yeah show. oh yeah there's also that for me what I find what I want to look see in mecha shows mm. is because my background is that my father everybody in my family we're like we like watching like war. You know, like War. people sh- shooty bang bangs for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I see a Gundam or a robot, I wanted to have missiles. I wanted to have guns. Mm. Something to blow something okay. up. Okay. You wanted to have scythes. <laughs> also, this also and dragons. I mean, with with what you're saying, it's also in Evangelion. That's what, maybe so. that's why I didn't really. Oh no, uh, Evangelion only has uh, yeah, that's why. shields and rifles. Oh yeah, that's so maybe n- one none of the, the interesting but, but, scythes and dragons. Not um, that he was. No, what he was saying, I wasn't saying what you were saying. <laughs> okay. What he was saying, because you know, more of the war machines. Yeah, the, being a, like a war machine, like mm-hmm. it's not literally being a war machine because the way they fight in Evangelion, from how I remember, it's like more oh, of like. Uh, okay, okay. Do you know what I'm gonna say? I'm not going to. Oh, what was I have saying? A, I have a. Hint Can I finish what I was saying? No. It, okay. All right. Just go ahead. <laughs> go, go, go ahead. <laughs> No, it's okay. Now I was just gonna say that they, they fight in a way like uh like how soldiers fight. And why were you say the same yeah, thing? Yeah, and I okay, was gonna okay. say it, but why just were you gonna it. say it first? What's the uh, so no, just that we're, we're just that the they're just thing. fighting with in, in a way that uh that again that the real soldiers fight like mm-hmm. you know with rifles and guns. So it would for me it would make sense that you would also like the the way they fight there, not because of like you know overpowered war machines with missiles and that, but then like if you like war movies. Like uh, you know, soldiers like I don't know, uh, like Jarhead, yeah, Jarhead, stuff like that. It 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 has that vibe with uh, with Evangelion. Really? Yeah. So maybe that's something that you didn't know before. That maybe now you get, you're more incentivized to watch it. But because also plus, uh, let me please. just say, plus the fact that uh, just like I don't know with Jarhead or maybe other war movies, it also has Saving the, Private Ryan. Yeah, it, yeah. I guess with Saving Private Ryan, it has that 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 trauma feel also of uh, of being in war. Especially with Shinji, it's more humanized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know again if that's all also in uh, in Gundams. Gundams. Do you, is, can you say if it is? No. <laughs> oh, it's not. See, there are war freaks there. Yeah, so it's it's like that. I guess it's maybe two sides of the same coin. Like maybe maybe in Gundam, there's also a, a Shinji yeah, that no, they never some, show. Some there's a variety of them. Yeah, so that, that's that's like a an interesting thing that you can get into uh, if you ever think of watching Evangelion. And maybe you can just skip the the slow boring parts if you don't want them. No, I, I like the slow boring parts at this point in my life. Why so? It's, I don't know. I, it's just that I've experienced more in life, so I'm not bored as compared to when I watched that as at, as a in my late teens. I, I got bored. I was eighteen when I first tried watching Evangelion, uh, and now you know, I twenty five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the the human parts. I'm You'd not appreciate bored. it more. Yeah, I'm yeah. not. That makes sense. I mean, it, it's it's a good way to you know tone down, especially if you're more toned down as an older person. But I guess we 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 have to ask for your recommendations too. <laughs> Does it have to be in game or? It doesn't anything, have to be anything. Just recommend anything. It doesn't have to be anything, but it has to be anything. <laughs> well, something that I'm passionate about. Uh, sure. It's D and D. You guys have to play it more. If you're tired of games where you have repetitive gameplay and you like random stories, or not random stories, you like, how do I say this? You like, you like where anything goes. You like variety. Variety, yeah. You mm. like being someone, you like role playing. Mm. Role playing, maybe not D&D, but maybe role playing in general. Because you get to experience something unique every game. You get to play as somebody. You're not. Mm. You get to escape reality and go back to, back to your imagination, away from all the screens. Well, right now not because you will play online because uh, yeah. of the quarantine and stuff. Or with your neighbor across you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, D and D is a game I truly recommend to you guys and everyone watching because you get to experience stuff you didn't know. 
you can fall in love, you can be have whatever you want to be. Have you fallen in love in, in D&D? I'd say, yeah. Oh. That's how great the game with is. With an NPC or a fellow player? Ooh. I only played with... No, with the NPC. <laughs> 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 I mean, that's also but that's something what I makes it great that you yeah. get to fall in love in that game mm. and one thing I want to I want to like you know also clarify with me or maybe even other people who don't really get it because you know you, you keep saying you know role playing role playing but then there are role playing games like you know again RPGs are, is a genre of video games so what makes it what makes D&D different from like playing an RPG in terms of video games no in terms of role playing like what because again that's a that's a main selling point of you know D&D mm-hmm. that's a role playing game but what makes it different from playing maybe as Kratos or I don't know that's not a role playing yeah. game <laughs> oh, as, uh, sure. as uh, Final Fantasy characters or whatever yeah because in video games there's a direct story it's mm-hmm. almost linear but you get to play as the character yeah I mm-hmm. understand you're Kratos you're a god of war <laughs> just look at <laughs> <it's> Kratos also <laughs> You wanna save? You wanna throw your ashes in the mountain for some the ashes of your your wife in the mountain for mm. some reason, but in D and D, you decide what you wanna do. Mm. Do you wanna fall in love with this girl? Do you mm. wanna go to the top of the mountain for some reason? Do you wanna get rich? Do you wanna do business? Do you wanna do trade? Do you wanna be a pirate? Anything your mind, anything you want, can happen in Dungeons and Dragons. There's no limitations as long as it's in your head and you roll right. And as long as the DM's a pretty cool person. <laughs> DMs generally are pretty cool. But there are some DMs that stick to like a story in general. They make their own story and they want their characters to It's called this. railroading, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Which makes it pretty linear but I'm sure that throughout the path going to that story it's all you. Mm. That's what makes it unique. You want to play as a character as from Fully Cooly. Mm-hmm. You want to play as someone from Hades. Doki Doki Heart? <laughs> oh. You can, you can. I want to be a you can big Titty Got GF. Or you can be you someone can. who can be just As long as you can role play it. <laughs> well, I already played the big titty, uh, not goth, but a big titty midget. <laughs> that, that was my character. So, yeah, maybe DD is a game that might make you escape from reality for a second but it's a game I I think everyone has to try at one point and I think you'll they'll enjoy it as long as you get with, with you guys too yeah I think I, it makes sense I, it is, it's, it's really uh, how do you say this I'm, I'm really incentivized by the way you're talking about D&D but I don't know like uh, I just want to ask this because from my experience I don't know if it's because it's been online or whatever but me being a, like, just me in general, I'm a very unimaginative, uh, unimaginative person. I'm not really good at coming up with things and, you know, thinking of what I want to be. I didn't, I'm just me. That, that's, that's the beauty of it. You can be you. In yeah. The, but then I, I, a... I get backlash with that. Oh, that, that, that <laughs> maybe you're just that. playing with, no offense, maybe not the right crowd, maybe. Maybe. Not. I don't know. It, it, it just, it just like, I don't know, like, when I, when when I'm like that, I'm like uh, I don't I feel like I'm not doing the right thing, and I'm like, uh, what, what? There is no uh, right thing. What you think you're doing, there's a what you think you're doing is right to you. It's mm, okay. I forgot yeah. what there's a word for that. <laughs> is, is is the right thing. <laughs> like what 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 you think is right is always right, but for others it may not be right, but mm, for you it's right. That's cool. What would you have to say, Van? I'm gonna be myself here. By the way, neighbor, did you enjoy haven't your? You first... been, haven't you been being yourself the, the whole, whole time? episode? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, yeah, I'm gonna be myself again. Did you enjoy your first soju, my good neighbor? I'm enjoying it. I can't believe I drank it so late. It's good, right? It's, now, it's now, very good. now, next time you can drink it earlier, and then another bottle or two, <laughs> and then you can be on the Where'd same level this, as Van. Huh? Where'd you get this? Seven Eleven. It's on Pure Gold Seven Eleven. It's that shit's everywhere, man. Yeah. How much a bottle? Whichever sponsors us, we'll get there. <laughs> I think buy one now. <laughs> <laughs> About and a, that's how you get one fifty a, a bottle. <laughs> one fifty or one ten depends on the store. Ooh. What's what flavor did you get? 
I I'm drinking unflavored one, but I mix it with strawberry yogurt or uh, Coke Zero, mm, Coke why. Light. But my favorite pla- flavor is the blueberry one. Mm. Okay. You really, you really, really like it that you. I'm liking it. <laughs> yeah, you're now a soju guy. They are. And then <laughs> next time you're gonna be I'm an alcoholic. So- I'm a soju boy. <laughs> Mission so- accomplished. Wait. I had- uh, was I the only one who thought of soju boy? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a soldier boy. Soldier boy. I don't want to sing okay. it, man. <laughs> so corny. Well, yeah, I guess we can we can end on a good note with that. Yeah, uh, the the soju uh, non official sponsorship that we got. Uh, maybe next time we can drink more and uh, you know talk about other things, or at least again, just like we said before, uh, if you get to try the the recommendations we got we gave, at least we can uh, get your opinions on them. Maybe you have a different perspective also. And also the, the same way, like I like how his perspective with D and D. I'm sorry, I'm talking to you. Yeah. I like yours, per, your perspective on D and D. It's really inspirational and like, you know, for me it's really heartwarming. Like, uh, I really felt bad about how how I play D and D, and like I didn't feel like, uh, you know, it was worthwhile for me anymore. Like I I don't really know if again if I'm doing anything right, and then like, you know, it it just felt stupid in a way. So with that, you know. Maybe we can play D and D some other time, mm-hmm. and then we can also talk about that. Well, you drive here, and he's my neighbor, so yeah, it's one plus one and one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in our current campaign, I can add both of you. Ooh, so, oh, you're just, you can you're, be like uh, recurring characters. So I'd have. You, you, example, you have a you have a campaign now. Yeah, yeah. we're doing it right now. You didn't get to ask that earlier. <laughs> Live in Twitch. TV well, well after Sunday. this episode, I'll be asking you on some tips on building my new character because I already have this idea, just not on you know I I'm new so I'm having difficulty in uh, tweaking the stats and coming up with. Yeah, he's you know, more he's more into the the thought process on making a character than I am because I have uh, I I I've, I've finished the backstory I finished his speech patterns really? uh, the voices yeah I, give I, us an example give us an example well well not to spoil the audience <laughs> should we stream this but my uh my next character would be named Bennington he's an awkward guy mm-hmm. he's a warlock and uh. You know, his mom recently died. Uh, may may or may not be due to him, and he's very awkward with girls. And he goes to uh, you know, a spiritual kind of message board with all of the fellow losers, warlocks. Oh, yeah. they have a message warlocks. board. Yeah, like a fortune like for, for, for 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 warlocks. <laughs> Four warlocks. <laughs> so they have four ch- yeah, yeah, four locks. And, and, and his, no, oh, call it four locks. Four locks. Four locks. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and his ultimate spell, the summoning spell, will be just named Mother. Ooh. To be continued. I cast Mother. <laughs> oh my. Ears. Yeah, I don't know how to edit that one. Around. I don't. I never knew how to edit around Van's loud voices when it comes to the podcast because he doesn't really mind doing them. Really out loud, but yeah, uh, I guess we're okay with the episode. We've we've been going on for I think already an hour and thirty minutes, mm-hmm. so and that's a good time to end the episode. I hope you guys liked it. Again, uh, I'm Cars. And, I'm Van. And I'm Iggy. And uh, you've watched uh, Smoke and Rearview Mirrors. Uh, please like, subscribe uh, wherever you watch this. If uh, I, we do end up uh, uploading this on like an audio only platform, I mm-hmm. uh, hope you can give us. Some good ratings. If not, well, you can just give us a good low rating and we'll know what to do for the next episode. So, see you guys then. And, uh, see ya. Bye-bye.